Hey, Neiman Max. My name is Alante. I'm 25 years old, and I'm from Saginaw, Michigan. I'm writing you because for the last eight years, eight years, I have been in this on and off relationship with a girl from Detroit. Her name is Nevea. She's 24 years old, and I have very deep feelings for her. There are reasons I do have some doubts, though. For example. I went to meet with her multiple times, but things always end up happening that would prevent us from meeting the last minute. Another concern is we may talk on the phone for days on end, but then she disappears for weeks, sometimes months, with no explanation. Yeah, we'll video chat when we do get a chance. Wait, so you, so have, you have video chatted with her? Yeah, but no matter what's the situation, it's never daytime. You know, she's always in a dark room. Like. I don't want nobody to see me dark. And I'm sure you've said like, hey, turn the lights on. Yeah, plenty of times and she's like, I don't want you to see me like this. My hair isn't done. What do you guys know about why we're here? I know a little bit. I actually can't wait for him to finally just meet her so he can get that closure that he needs. It's been a couple years. More than that. <laughs> it's been like almost eight years. That's a long time to still be hoping and praying and waiting for somebody to get it over with already is a long time to string somebody along. So the first thing we did was we did an image search. We got a hit. A website called Lulu Linden, and it's a fashion blog mm. by this girl who says, hi, I'm Lulu Linden. Well, actually, I am Audrey. Holy shit. At the bottom, there are links. So we went to the Instagram. She's got 12.8 thousand followers and she's posting lots of pictures. So we went back to her page. We noticed that you have 46 mutual friends. Well, we sent messages to pretty much everybody on here. And a couple people got back to us. Do you know a guy named Royan? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He said a couple weeks ago, Nevaeh sent him a friend request and they kind of started flirting, like they were talking. I spoke to two other guys last night on the phone who had similar stories. Yeah, she friended me. So there's somebody going around here terrorizing people from Saginaw. When we ran the phone numbers, a Saginaw number, came up with a Latoya Is this nothing? Never seen this person? Never. Well, we looked up Latoya. She's got a Facebook page. We looked to see if you have any mutual friends, and guess what? 23 of them. 23 mutual friends. Crazy. Someone about the right age, female, lives in Saginaw. This could be who you've been talking to. If you gotta lie about something so basic, you will lie about anything. Hey, this is Kevin. Who, who is this? Is this Kevin? Yeah, no, this is Neve and I'm with Max. Hi. Is this Nevaeh? Yeah, I'm not sure who I'm talking to. My name's Sierra. Your name is Sierra. Okay, do you know Nevea? Well, she's someone that we reached out to on Facebook. Yeah, I know Nevea. Okay. Can we meet both? Sure. Yeah, well, where should we meet you? I'll text you. Okay, great. So you know Nevea. How well do you know Nevea? We're close friends. Do you know Alante? Yes, I know Alante. You do? So you know that Nevea has been talking to Alante for a long time? Yes. Are you Nevea? No. Why are you talking to us? We've been friends for a very long time, but I feel like I'm in the middle of everything. I want her to come clean. Okay. That she's been catfishing people. Okay. I can call her for you and see if she want to meet with you guys. Yeah, can you call her and? Sure. Oh, what you doing? Mm, you heard catfish wasn't found? Why can't it be her? It could be. It's time to come clean, bro. She said, meet her at Ojibwe Park in That's... an hour, Ojibwe Park. There's someone waiting over there. Is there? there? Well, there's someone on the dock there with their back to us. Oh, oh yeah, there is. That looks like a yeah potential catfish straight ahead. Is that... yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi, again. We meet Hi. again. Yeah. Is that how you guys are friends, or? I'm God's sister. God's sister. Oh, nice. Yeah. I actually can't wait for him to finally just meet her. Why, though? It was just supposed to be a lesson that needed to be learned when 
You told me about Sierra. I told you from jump I didn't think that that was a good idea. Are we talking about Sierra we just met? So <laughs> we got, you gotta fill us in here. Sierra told me she had a crush on Lante, and I told her not to pursue it. Why? Because you're my friend, that's my brother. I don't wanna be in the middle, so I gave her her proof that you were talking to other people on Facebook. Oh. I'm not saying that that's not what happened, mm -hmm. but it feels like you didn't want some other girl to be with Alante because you wanted to be with Alante. No, not at all. Like I said, that's my brother. Well, he's not your brother. You're not actually related. No, okay. not blood related. Right. No. But you're very close, mm -hmm. and he's your godbrother. Yes. At what point did you make a fake profile, decide to name it Nevaeh? I had already made it. OK. So it was just something original that me and all my friends did in high school. Right. Because I had some friends who were, you know, hey, add my boyfriend or add this person. So I added them as Nevaeh's friend. And immediately, they would poke her on Facebook, direct message her. And that right there was your proof that he'll engage in a conversation with somebody else. So why keep this Nevaeh profile right. going so long with Alante? Why keep it going Because crazy? after a while, you know, I told Sierra, I was like, you think it's time? You know, is it, is it time for me to just let it go? And Sierra, no, write him back. Why do you have her back over his? I mean, because I'm a female. So I knew what she was going through. Help me understand a little bit. When you were young, you and Sierra had something. She had something. We were talking, we right. were no touching. She had a much bigger crush on you. You were the older guy. I was the older guy. OK. But did, but did you ever do anything to make her feel like you were actually dating? Uh, no. It just had to be a young state of mind. Eight years? That shit crazy. That shit starting to tear my eyes up. You could have just said to him at some point, hey, stop talking to this Nevaeh girl like it's me. I didn't want to just come out and say, I'm fake. I'm, I'm not who you think I am. I wanted to kind of let it down gently. I don't even want to talk to her. There's nothing to talk about. My thing is this. If you play me, I'm going to get you when you least expect it. If you hurt me, I'm going to hurt you. It Did might Lante not hurt you? I was in a relationship with one of his friends off and on for about seven years. And he told him that he didn't think that the relationship was that serious, but yet Alante never told me that, hey, he not really into you. She strung me along for seven and a half years, telling I him. I had to tell you, he showed me. But how was I supposed to know? He didn't start showing it until later on. I just, you know, I got so caught up and wrapped up in being Nevaeh. I actually liked it, I did. Because I've been told that, oh, you're pretty for a dark skinned girl. You're pretty to be kind of chunky. You're pretty to be short. But Nevaeh is confident. She's pretty. She's light. She models. Everybody wants her. And I had to remember, it's not that they want me, they want her. But he didn't deserve to get strung along for that long. I thought that, you know, he would say, you kind of just pop in and out of my life. I don't have time for that instability. I wanted him to end the relationship with Nevaeh. But, you know, I would go away. And then when he would leave a message, I would hear that sincerity in his voice. Are you OK? I was just checking in on you. And I'm like, OK, I got to tell you know, that I'm all right. And so that's why I let it carry on so long. It wasn't necessarily about you. It was the inner problems and the inner issues that I needed to work on. I feel like I just lost my best friend behind this. And was it worth it? No. There's definitely no friendship. You can hit the lottery for mega millions tomorrow, and I wouldn't give a f you can't play with people like that. It is what it is. My next move, work on myself. Hello. Hey. hey. How are you? Oh, you guys. Wow, you guys are in the same room. After you guys left, I ended up moving. Latte is actually staying the weekend with me. The way we left off, it was such a negative note. I didn't want to leave it that way. His dad just passed away, so that's why he's here. This is the first time since the funeral I've been back. Oh, OK. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. We've been friends for so long. And then when my pops passed, I needed a shoulder. You know, I ain't the type of guy to be mad at someone forever. As a man, you know, you got to look past some things. And as a woman, you got to be able to admit when you was wrong. This is just part of my charm. I'm lovable. People can't stay mad yeah. at me too long. 